Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. We are so excited to be back. Last month was great. We took it off. We spent some time with the family decompressing, but we are back at it in the year 2020. Normally on Mondays, we do a roundup of the last week and the news that happened. But for this video, Patrick and I talked and we thought we would give you our take on the top five things that happened in 2019 for Power BI. So we're gonna give it to you top five style. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Before we get into the top five, I've got an honorable mention. This is the BI Power Hour that occurred at the Business Application Summit. It's not a feature, but man, we had a lot of fun. There was a lot of work that went into this and we were just blown away by the amount of people that showed up to this and supported it and everything came together at the last minute. And by last minute, I mean like 18 hours before this event. And so I've got a link down in the description below where you can check out the recording of the BI Power Hour. There's two different videos. One is the actual cold open that we did, which wasn't captured in the main recording. And then there's the main record. Again, we had a lot of fun. It was a great experience and rumor has it, there's gonna be a BI Power Hour at Business Application Summit in Anaheim in April. So make sure you check that out. All right, coming in at number five, we're going with grouping of visuals inside of Power BI Desktop. This was an item that was kind of a long time coming and this allows you to bring visuals together in a group so that you can move them around and you know, just have better control over them without having to shuffle, do the visual shuffle on your canvas. And so this was a great addition into Power BI Desktop and we were very excited to see this. If you're not familiar with grouping of visuals, I've got a link down in the description below to the documentation for it and you can just check it out and play with it. It's really great. Coming up at number four is the new workspace experience. So this is the new workspaces that gets us away from that Office 365 Modern Group. It allows us more control, more granularity in terms of security so we can add groups instead of just individual users. We have more permission types with inside of that workspace and it just gives us a whole slew of additional features. This was another item that was highly anticipated and I'm really glad that it finally made it. It did go GA and also recently the migration for the old work workspace to the new workspace was just released as well. So you can start moving your content over. Coming in at number three, and this one Patrick was like bananas over. This was his thing, right? Shared data sets. So shared data sets allow us to have that single source of truth inside of Power BI. We can have that single data set in a workspace and then create reports in other workspaces based on that same data set. So that allows us to get rid of those data silos and really focus in on the model and also have other people focus on the reports. So a little separation of duty there. There are some things to be aware of with shared data sets though. So just understand that it is considered a live connection. And so if you connect to that, you're not gonna be able to mash it up with anything else. One of the things I'm looking forward to is the ability to use composite models with those shared data sets and that will really light things up. So stay tuned on that. Coming in at number two is the decomp tree. And this was an item that had a huge fanfare. If you remember the old performance point in the SharePoint days, it had this type of feature and this was highly looked after inside of Power BI to have this capability. And it is there now and it is a beautiful thing. If you're not familiar with the decomp tree, what it allows you to do is to analyze measures based on dimensions and just explore it and traverse it. You can also apply certain type of statistical AI type algorithms to it so that you can really identify like what is the most important thing that you need to be looking at, whether it's like a high value, low value, if it's from a forecast perspective, you can actually interact with that to get data that is useful to you. And you can also slice and dice like anything else, right? So if you slice a chart outside of it, it's gonna affect the decomp tree as well. So it's very interactive and it is a great way to do that ad hoc exploration on your data. It is a preview feature, so make sure that you've enabled it and restart Power BI Desktop and then check it out, play with it, see if it works for the data that you're working with. Again, in the description below, I'll have links to the documentation. 
All right, coming in at number one, Patrick and I both agreed on this. Yeah, we're probably a little bit biased just for because of the work that we do, but this is the performance analyzer feature inside of Power BI Desktop. This allows you to drill in and get more information on the visuals inside of your report. So that means you can figure out and debug even down to the DAX layer to figure out how can I optimize this report and get it to run faster. And that just really helps us in the work that we do when we're helping customers troubleshoot or to identify where the problem is. It is a great first place to start. And so if you haven't played with the Performance Analyzer, definitely check it out. It can save you a lot of time. It can also really help you when you're in a bind. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item in 2019? Let Patrick and I know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.